Acumatica Cloud ERP, Automation for Outside Process Operations. With Acumatica Manufacturing Edition, a manufacturer can define an operation on their routing as an outside process operation. Outside processing is a process where an operation and a routing is performed by a subcontractor or someone outside the company. Some examples of the types of services that may be outsourced are painting, lathing, or the sterilization of medical instruments. The reason some manufacturers may choose to use an outside process varies. In some cases, the manufacturer may not have the capability or machine to perform a process to produce the finished good. In other cases, it is a cost savings to subcontract items out to other vendors. When this happens, Manufacturers want to track the material and cost when it leaves their facility and apply the outside process cost to the overall cost of the finished goods. With Acumatica Manufacturing Edition, we have now made some improvements to our outside process flow in order to streamline this process. Before we begin, there are a few items that must be set up in order to use this functionality. First, we must set up an item for the service being performed. In this example, I have set up an item called SubCon to represent our service being provided by the subcontractor. It has a price of $1 and my subcontractor or vendor is AA Services. Next, I've created a work center, AA Services, and selected the outside process flag. Once I have created my subcontract item and work center, I can then proceed to setting up my bill of material. In this example, I have a routing with three operations. Operation 10 is the milling of the scalpel. Operation 20 is my outside process operation. I'm sending this scalpel to a subcontractor to package and sterilize this tool. My vendor is charging me 34 cents to sterilize each scalpel. Notice that on each material, I can specify whether this is a regular, phantom, or subcontract item. If it is a subcontract item, then we can specify the source. In this case, our envelope is supplied by the vendor and we're purchasing the sterilization services. On the outside process tab, I can see that this operation is marked as an outside process operation. I can also default the vendor to be used on this operation for this service as well as the location to ship the item to for the services. Then my final operation is to inspect the scalpels once they are returned from the vendor. This completes the necessary setup needed in order to begin using outside processing. So let's take a look at what the process flow would look like if we were producing the scalpel. We have three operations, milling, outside processing, and inspection. Once the items have been completed on Operation 10, they will be moved to Operation 20. For Operation 20, we will need to create a purchase order for the service. Then we will create the pick list and packing slip to ship the milled scalpel to the subcontractor to be packaged and sterilized. Once the subcontractor finishes the service, they will ship the items back where we will receive the purchase order and charge the service to the production order. Once these are received into inventory, we will need to perform a move transaction to move them to the next operation. To demonstrate this functionality, I'm going to start on the production order maintenance screen. To keep this simple, I have created a production order for one sterilized scalpel. I've already released this order so we can move to the production order details. For this demonstration, I have already performed a move transaction to move the item from operation 10 to operation 20. If we move to the second operation, then we can see that we have two materials. One is the peel pack that is supplied by the vendor, and the other is our non-stock item for the service being performed by the vendor. Since this is an outside process operation, meaning this operation will be completed by a subcontractor, then I need to create the purchase order for the service. If I click on the outside process tab, I can automatically create a purchase order for the service. Once I create the purchase order, the PO number appears on the outside process tab of the outside process operation. Next, we will need to ship the scalpels to the subcontractor to complete the sterilization service. I navigate to the new vendor shipment screen where I can prepare the shipment. I'm shipping the scalpels to AA services from WIP. So I will add a line to ship this from the production order. If I had multiple production orders, then I could ship them on a single shipment to this vendor. 
Next, I will print my pick list for my picker to get the items and bring to the packing station. Then, I will print my packing slip and ship the items to the subcontractor. Once my paperwork is prepared, I will confirm my shipment. Confirming the shipment updates the shipped quantity and changes the status of the shipment to complete. If I return to the production order details and look at my outside processing operation, I can also see that the shipment quantity and at vendor quantity has been updated. When the vendor ships the sterilized scalpels back to me, I will receive the purchase order and update the quantity on the production order so that when I issue the material to my operation, it issues the material at actual subcontracting cost. Now that I have been notified that the scalpels have been received, I can move the items to the next operation. Back at my production order, the quantity at the vendor has been updated to reflect that the scalpels are no longer at the vendor. In summary, with these new changes for outside processing, users have a much more automated way to process outside process operations. Purchase orders can be created and linked to the production order and viewed on the production order details. With the new vendor shipments form, users can can create shipments, print pick list, and packing slips, and track the inventory that is at the subcontractor. Thank you for joining me today for this overview demonstration on the automation for outside process operations. For more information about Acumatica, contact an Acumatica reseller or go to our website at www.acumatica.com.